Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Boozy Brunch and Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Rodney, and today we have with us Miss Shantavia Phyllis Fisher. What's up? It's your girl, Tavia Show. What's up? How y'all doing today? We have the one and only Cook Gotti. Hey, it's your girl, Cook Gotti. <laughs> we have Mr. Javier Martinez. What up, fam? How's it going? And last but not least, representing the 216, Mr. T.Y. Fisher. It's All Star Weekend. Let's get it. It's All Star Weekend. Look at that. Look at that. Up there in Cleveland? You already know, man. Um, I'm in Cleveland right now. Uh, okay, and moving on from there. Yeah. <laughs> what is everybody <laughs> drinking today? All right, all right. So let me tell you what I got today. I don't got the bottle on here, but I got me some Bullet Bourbon. And y'all see my cup is filled all the way to the rim. Bullet Bourbon, if you out there, come on. Sponsor us. Drop a bag. Okay. All right. I'm drinking a little rosé today. Go ahead and pour it up a little bit. I want to keep it light today. Y'all know I be going a little hard. I be going what they say, live. The- <laughs> Harder <laughs> than a mother in pain. <laughs> okay. Friend. I mean, after last week, I know. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> OC. Out of control. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am drinking uh, this tequila called La Gritona. Um, it, Ooh, with some sounds sexy. Sprite. So, with Sprite? It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, tequila and Sprite. Okay. That's different. Okay. And I am drinking one of my mimosas. It's a blueberry lemonade mimosa. Nice. Mm. Blueberries. You know, she had to be uh, real extra Ryan. this week. Oh, she's she's fancy like that. But Ryan, Ryan what you drinking on over there? Okay, so today I actually, guys, the liquor store was not open this morning when I left the gym at 10. So, yeah. But I did come up with a look of caution. I took a page out of Miss Fish's book. And what we have here is a vodka seltzer, uh, watermelon flavor, with, and I muddled some cucumber. Ooh, okay, wow, I muddled okay. some cucumber in there, so we got cu- fresh cucumber flow, and, and then you know we got a cucumber garnish on the side. Um, okay. It is by this company. It's called Neutral. Neutral. Um, it's it's pretty good. Um, I really like it. So right now I have a watermelon cucumber vodka seltzer, but you know since Bud Light loves it so much, and I promised them I will always have a hard uh, seltzer, hard soda. You know I got that on the back up too. There you go. There you go. I'm just like, like uh, I feel it. like bougie listening to uh, Rodney drink. I need, I feel bougie or something like Rodney. Your drink <laughs> give me like he rich auntie vibes. <laughs> rich auntie vibes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> is it because I muddled the it. cucumber? Yeah, you gotta, that's you what it is. It's just that cucumber. <laughs> that's it right there with the garnish on it's the side. The garnish on the side. I took okay. a page out of your book, Miss Fisher. You did it last time. Yeah. You know it's been a while since I made my own drink. Yeah, so. Yes, yes. It, it probably went on cucumber. It's probably a pickle. Oh, here he go. Here he go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not not start, how was everybody's yeah. weekend? <laughs> um, I know I saw that on one of y'all social media fishers that you guys went to the fair. I haven't been in the fair forever. Um, but how was it? How was the fair food? Um. So. It, it was family day. They gave the uh, students tickets for family day. I don't think I would want to go back on family day because it was extra crowded. Oh, but God. the fair here, we haven't been to the fair in like two years. Mm-hmm. So the fair here was, it was big. It was nice. I felt like they, yeah, I was about to say they had more food than rides, but it was it was pretty big. They did have ride. Um, the food, you know, I went for the food and I know I was doing my little clean eating thing mm-hmm. or whatever, That's but that was my little cheat. It was my cheat day, <laughs> and I said, and we walked it off because we did like 8,000 steps or mm. over, Ooh. so we pretty much walked it off by the time we left, and then um, I went to the gym this morning, and I did some walking yesterday. That's besides so. the point. We had fried cookie dough. We had Italian sausages with the peppers Ooh. and so, onions. We had cheese oh, fries. Oh, those peppers and onions were hidden. We had and a corn dog, 18-inch corn, corn Super, dog. super corn, corn dog. That shit was like Please that tell long. me y'all split it. No. no, we had one a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all finished it. Okay. Okay. No, I couldn't even finish. I couldn't even. Hell yeah. Now, London had a regular corn dog. I couldn't even finish my oh. finished half of it. Why did, okay. I, why did I pay $14 for a Heineken? Oh, God. Yeah, we spent almost $200 at the fair, including us paying to get in. I, 
it's it's the food for me, but it don't hit like it used to hit when we was growing up going to the fair. They using the wrong grease. Okay? We we had good grease. We had we had good grease. Very good grease back in the day because they used to fry the the cookie, the funnel, the the turkey, and and the damn corn dog in the same grease. Okay, that's the thing. You you got to mix them all together. That's the only way you're gonna get the fair food flavor. You can't do the that now though. Flavor. You know, people got allergies and all that crazy crap. Can't do that stuff now. Yeah, it's so crazy. Nobody used to care about a peanut allergy back in the day, which is, you know, you should That's care, true. but they really did back in the day. <laughs> and now it's like, don't break shit in here with peanuts. Well, they need to have a peanut That's side true. and then the side where, <laughs> <laughs> where people can't eat peanuts. You know, they go over I, don't, I don't remember everybody having peanut allergies back in the day. Right. That's what I'm saying. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it was one of those things that became bigger or just... Uh, more people became susceptible to it later on. But I feel like when we were growing up, when we brought candy and stuff in school, our teachers never said, you know, don't bring peanuts. Like, I didn't hear right. that. And if you did, mm-hmm. little Johnny Boy better have an EpiPen. Because <laughs> it was always little Johnny Boy. It was never. But you can't even it afford an EpiPen now. So, you be, listen, just don't bring it no It wasn't Shaquita. It was not high. Shaquita. <laughs> 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 That's your queen. Okay. Okay. It's your how, come, how come? Why is Narcan cheaper than an EpiPen? Oh, let's not get into this. Like what, is like what is Narcan? Is. Right. When we're looking, like, are you going to tell us what because it is? It's, I don't think y'all know oh, what Narcan, Narcan is. Narcan is the uh, drug that revive you if mm-hmm. you if you OD. Oh, you notice that, that what um, they if you go to like, the, li- um, libraries. Yeah, libraries keep them on hand because a lot of homeless people and a lot of people that use drugs, they go there. So they keep a lot on hand there. You will, you will see like library people or um, librarians are trained to disperse Narcan, give it to them, inject it mm. or either put it in their nose. We had them um, in the shelters. Oh, really? Yeah. When I was working in shelters, yeah, so. because, you know, like Cookie stated, a lot of um, drug addicts come in. We had them when I was working out there in the shelter. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's well, clearly, right. well, clearly guys. ain't nobody on this podcast a drug addict because y'all don't know what Narcan is. <laughs> we don't do crack as well. Is I know what you Narcan know, is. You know. you, I, don't, okay, <laughs> I don't know nobody who OD'd on crack. I'm pretty sure it's happening. I'm, I'm trying to think. Do I know somebody? Uh, the the hmm. man off uh, The Temptation, David Ruffin, because they just threw him out the car. That's coke. That ain't crack. Oh, that ain't. Uh, well, see, all right. <laughs> I'm not a druggie, clearly. Yeah, not not I'll give you the boozy, but we gonna keep. We stay away from the drugs. Okay. I'm David Ruffin, and these are the temptations. <laughs> That's the part. <laughs> that is the part. Okay. All right. So, as you guys know, me, Tay, and Hobby were out last week, and we went to California. Okay, and let's just say. It was great. It was awesome. Uh, we went for leisure. We went for personal reasons that we might disclose at a later date. But it was a great time and a really a trip of recharge. And um, I guess, Tay, let me start with you. What was your favorite moment of the trip? And I know you were just saying before we started how you got so refreshed. So just tell us about it. Yes, I got refreshed. I actually needed this this trip. Uh, I'm glad y'all invited me to go because, I mean, it, it gave me a chance to get back on track. Like, I've just been stuck in work, and that's been the only thing. So it got my mental back on track. It got me back in the gym. I feel good. I feel great. Like, I just, I'm just happy now. So I just got to stick with that and not let work consume mm-hmm. me. So my favorite part of the trip. Uh, I have two parts. When we went to um, Sunset Boulevard. Yes, yes. Uh, to the secret room mm-hmm. where me and Rodney always go and, and turn up. Yes. And also when we went hiking, um, I enjoyed that. Very good. Very good. They didn't go out there for the recharge followers. They went out there for the overcharge. You know they was overcharged <laughs> in Super Bowl weekend. They would, They went up from their $40 and they went to eighty dollars, and they was out there on Sunset Boulevard getting that eighty dollars. First of all, who's spending forty? Who's spending forty? Right. What I, you talking about? Who's spending forty? My friend way 40. more expensive okay. than forty. Okay. Forty dollars. So. Well, I'm saying y'all was overcharging. Okay. Y'all was overcharging out there. Sean, I wasn't overcharging. I wasn't even charging because I wasn't doing nothing yeah. to charge. Oh, you was right. selecting. You, you know what? What happens in Cali stays in Cali. 
That's mm, that is the what truth. What happens in Cali? Right, stays cookie, in Cali. Oh, right, cookie, don't, 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 don't go out there with them. <laughs> so y'all just give me the money, I'm gonna put it in my baby account. <laughs> <laughs> you have to speed it. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay. <laughs> she made fifty off of three point five. That's what's up. Okay. It's your girl cook, got it. Uh uh-uh. <laughs> So, right, right, Rodney, uh, what you liked about the trip? I, I heard what my wife loved, but what you like, Rodney? Um, uh, let me see. I and and have, Lita, Lita, leave y'all escapades out of this. I don't want to hear nothing about the money exchanges and, and none no, of that shit. First shit. of all, I'm not that type of person, okay? First, and he brought it up. Right. Who said something about right. money exchanges? Um, <laughs> for me, I guess I'm going to go with hiking. Um, hiking was really fun. And the last time we were there, me and Tay, we wore the, um, like five years ago, we wore the wrong attire. So clearly we were not hiking. Um, and this time we were able to do it and it was fun. Um, we hiked and oh Tay, we got to save someone. <laughs> we did, we did. This lady was living life on the edge, literally. Allegedly. Allegedly, literally, we saw no, it. No, so we it, saw it. No, we ain't friend. lying. Y'all saved somebody, allegedly. No. Yes. Okay, no. allegedly. Let me tell y'all the alleged story real quick. I'm gonna wrap it up real quick. Okay. So this lady had fell, allegedly. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I had got the rope. Allegedly. Me and Rodney and Harvey went up there. Allegedly. We got the rope. <laughs> I, you know, I swung Sound around to her, looped her around her body. And then I'm like, Harvey and Rodney, come on. So we we pulling her up. Pushing. But we couldn't get her all the way up. So we had to, I, I ran back down the hill. And I got to the park <laughs> ranger. You know, they keep the park rangers in the thing. So I went, I said, right. she failed trying to take a picture. She and said, then once the helicopter came in, I I was over here trying to single this person out. The helicopter's like, she right here. She needs that help. Part. And yes. Uh, so part. from then we let we let the Los Angeles Fire Department, LAFD, they pulled up, they finished harnessing her, and then they spit her in the air like this in a circle, taking her away. <laughs> they did. And then I had to wave down the helicopter when it was there. I was like, this one for North Carolina. Come no, on. No, no, Take no, your shirt no. off. <laughs> First of all, if y'all was if, allegedly, if y'all allegedly. was dressed inappropriately, how now you this, get up the mountain with clear heels on, Tay? Rodney, how you get up the mountain? How you get up the mountain in flip flops and and, and uh, uh, Javi had on sandal shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so this was at, this happened Listen, at Rodney. All Kelly? we gotta say is yes. Oh yes, wow! Yes, yes, it was very. It was. It should have been on the news. It should have been on the news. I'm, I mean, it probably was on the news. We just didn't get. To I mean, you know, it. they blew that dust in our eye at the end. So, oh my yes, gosh, they so did. Did. They did. And so they, that's probably why they didn't show us. They did. They dusted us over when they. You know how the helicopter they disrespectful when they fly away. I'm telling they just, you, whoosh. all my little gloss had dirty. I mean, everything. <laughs> it was just horrible. <laughs> my lips. But, my lips was dirty. Yeah, <laughs> but we were able to do it, and I think that was a great part of the trip. Um, yeah, it was fun. Javi, what about you? Uh, hiking for sure, because, you know, this is my, technically, I want to say my first time um, actually touring um, California. You know, I used to live there when I was younger. I don't remember. Um, but hiking and going to the beach, that that for sure was was a good part, too. Just just walking down. The Newport beach. beach, yes. Newport yes. Beach. Guys, don't sleep on Orange County. Everybody talks about L.A., Los Angeles County, but you really got to get out to Orange County. You got uh, Newport Beach. You got Huntington Beach. You got Laguna Beach, which we didn't get to because, you know, they were on fire like the day before. Um, but it's, it's some really nice beaches, some piers, things out of there. Get outside of mm-hmm. L.A. County. There's other things to do as well. And go ahead, Tay. What? Oh, I saw your lips move like you were about to say something. No, 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 I was like, what? I'm just agreeing with you. It was nice. It was definitely nice. Nice. Good. I'm glad you guys, first of all, thank you for coming. And I'm glad you guys said. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. T.Y., Next what? trip, we will let you out the house, okay? I appreciate might, that. Uh, we might let him out. <laughs> Next trip, I, we will let him out. Don't let him out of the way. Y'all got locked up at all times. Next time, Cook got his own. Don't let him out of the way. I'm sorry. Okay, well, in the words of Cook got it, leave the animals at home. Right. That's a lowdown. Okay. That's cooking. 
That's cookie. We're gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him here with Pepper. No, I what? was here with Pepper. Okay, because both of <laughs> them got attitude. So just leave well, you guys him. know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you know you can't have the boozy and brunch without the tea. So let's get into some tea time. And today, let's see what we got here. I'm scrolling through the iPad. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Let's start with this. What did y'all think about the Super Bowl? Uh, I thought it was a good game. Very good game. Very entertaining. However, because my wife got caught up in Adrian Peterson's bullshit on the plane leaving LA allegedly. to Houston. No, no, that was true. For that's what happened. I know you like to say I, allegedly I know, anyway. I know, you know but what? I, I don't know what really since, happened with him since, and his wife because I ain't hear the whole thing. Since she said allegedly, friends, I will take friends, a drink. Exactly. We, we need to start making a uh, drinking game when uh, Tay says allegedly every time. Every so, time we're going to be allegedly, doing. We take a... We take a uh, How many allegedly have I done? Ten, like five? five, six. Probably five, like ten, ten. probably. That so, right. Well, you know, I don't, don't try to sue me. <laughs> so my wife was supposed to come home by before the game. But her pissed. flight got delayed from L.A. to Houston because of Adrian Peterson and his wife. So I missed the end of the game because I had to go to the airport to get her. But other than that, like the game was good. I was not expecting the halftime show to be as good as it was, but I was surprised. I thought the halftime show was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I There's one part, and maybe one of y'all can break it down to me. I didn't understand Kendrick Lamar's part. I actually, I can't say, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan of his rapping, so that's probably why I didn't try to understand it a little more. Everybody else, I was, I, I got it. But what was, what was his, was that, is that a song? Like a, a, a recent song? Or what was he trying to showcase? No, that's not a recent song. That's a song off of his last album called okay. Damn. Okay. Um, actually, it was in a... That song is tailored more towards um, police brutality. Okay, I kind of picked that part up. Which was weird because... Not, not weird, but they clearly blocked out part of his song. And the same thing with Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre said something about the police in his song, but they blocked it out. Well, that so, was agreed upon with the NFL. Yes, um, yes. Before, you know, saying before they did the songs and they had to submit the songs, they said you had to block them certain lyrics out. And he said he but, felt that it was worth it. He's like, you know, that's all they're asking. Anything else in the performance, the NFL agreed with. It. And I mean, yeah. And for a person who ain't never heard the song, I probably wouldn't even notice it that it wasn't there anyway. So, I, I mean, mean, yeah. I'm, you know what? I'll, I'll send you the song, send okay. you the album. You take a listen. See, you might like them. You might not. But I, I love uh, Kendrick. But. Okay. Okay. Nice. Apparently, Fifty what? Cent. It, it, apparently, Fifty ahead. Fifty Cent wasn't too pleased with all the memes that he's he's been getting. Y'all need to um, leave Fifty alone. Because I'll <laughs> well, take a dollar Fifty Cent over no. over Fifty Cent no. any day. I'm just saying, Fifty Cent <laughs> condition he can't take it now. He be on there talking about everybody else now. I, I, in at this moment, he just he just the butt of everybody's jokes right now. So that's just is it. It's just take it and go ahead and move along with it. I, you I don't, know what you are. I don't, I don't agree with the like the fat shaming he because is, my he, thing is he that is petty. Well, he did gain weight. Okay, cool. We know that. I don't agree with the fat shaming that's coming along that because it's people that's on my Facebook that I know personally that struggle with body image. So when you get into stuff like that, even though it's celebrities, it gets a little bit touchy because you have these people that are struggling with body dysmorphia every day and you throwing jokes at 50 Cent, he's not going to see that. But your friend that's been struggling with this for five to ten years, you know, body dysmorphia, they're going to see that. So... I understand he is the butt of everybody jokes right now, but I, you know, I just tread lightly when it comes to stuff like that. But overall, I still think he did a good yeah, job. It is a, it, and he fine to me, baby. He look good to me, yeah. slim or thick. <laughs> well, he 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 look good. He look better to me, thick. You know, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a, a piece of meat over over a little stick any day. Okay, I don't like them little. No sticks. spring chicken for you. So he mm-mm. Yeah, he look better I as like a dollar man. as a dollar. I than like fifty thing. cent, because when they did the the picture side by side, I'm like, okay, but he still was able to do the pull up and hang out. I, I would have fucking fell. I would have been on the <laughs> yeah. floor. The mic would have fell on the floor. I just would have been there. Like so, you can find me in the club. <laughs> who, who, who who did it? Who did it better, Medea or uh, Mary J? Who baby, my Medea was rocking that outfit, baby. I didn't even see I'm it. Telling you, baby. You didn't Madea see it. Was oh, rocking I, didn't, that I didn't see. It. <laughs> 
Oh my god! I, I, um, I wish I could join my love YouTube Mary's oh, wow. performance. I love her her performance, and I think that she chose that because you know she's really going through a lot right now. Um, or after her, oh, yeah, it's heartbreaking. It's hard. When, when is she not? Rodney, when is she, right? Rodney, when when is she okay, not this going is not, through this a lot is of true. shit? Oh, you said when is she well, not? Okay. Right. I didn't hear him at first either. I was like, wait, huh? But no, I mean, yes, this is true. But I mean, that's how she has great music because of her life. But this part, like, she broke. She, the last, she had to go on tour because, you know, the divorce. He got alimony. He got everything from her. So she that's why she went on tour because she broke. She ain't got shit. Well, how you cheat if you, you got to pay she ain't, she, she ain't our broke. I mean, we ain't broke, friend. We just middle-class citizens. Like, we, we broke compared to her. No, I ain't claiming broke. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a middle-class citizen, okay? That's it. She said, okay. we was watching an interview, and she said she had to go to work to pay the rent. That's what that song rent is about. Like, she had money to take care of her, but to, in order to pay him alimony, she stated that she had to go to work so that she could pay for he that cheated, too. Otherwise, he cheated, though. What kind of judge did this? He cheated. Like, he cheated, and he got, now, you got him accustomed to a life. And that's why y'all be, like, thinking I'd be hard with this money, but I don't play with my funds. That don't make no sense. You cheated on me <laughs> and now go, I have to pay you alimony. Oh, Lord. Yeah, cook him with you. I don't, I don't understand she, that part. I don't I, I don't agree with it. Let's say that. I damn sure don't agree with it. I probably never will understand it because I ain't going to never be in that situation. But, you she know. She also said that he had spent, he was spending all her money. And I'm like, mm -hmm. how can you not see this man spending your money? Like, you, how does she was doing have, the work, like, though. That much control. She was doing the work. Right. But she was doing the work though, Tay. So she so wasn't mean, worried about managing over everything. the money. Yeah, and, and when you trust somebody, you trust somebody. You're not thinking that they're gonna give you that ultimate betrayal, right? So just like you, you trust your husband. Don't do that, Cookie. You ain't thinking Don't that. Don't do that. Don't I'm do just that, saying, Cookie. In general, you trust you I'm trust the, your significant other. So you you're not trusting them to go ahead and be you know spending your money and you know and, you know what I'm saying especially in the climate that she's in she's like I've been with this man for a long time I mean, I've known him for a long time I've been with him for a long time we are we partners in this thing bam he switched up we partners as many people at the do. end of the day like I don't care how much I trust a person. I'm still looking at the account. Thank period. You, and that that's just me. But period. you got you I'm got time to look at the account. Where it's going. When you touring and when Please, you if I was working, rich, I'm still gonna look at my account. I think it's a little bit different. How many times a day? I think the the logistics. How is many different. times a day do you check your bank account? I check my bank account every day. How many times a day? Uh, three at least. Maybe once, twi maybe it's, once it's or twice a day, first, depending on what I it's spend. It's the first thing I do when I rise. I know. I, I mean, before I even I brush know. my teeth, I look. <laughs> I look in the, I grab that phone. I let know. me see what Pen Fed. Let me see what Pen Fed talking about. Making sure that I get a deposit. <laughs> did I have an overdraft? Okay, good. We good to go. All right, I close it and no, then I, I check it again money. after nine because you know that's where everything really refresh for the banks after nine a.m. I go back in. I said okay. And, and, and sometimes I might do an evening check, but if I ain't been nowhere, I just like to see what's been coming out. Like, for, especially over the weekend, you've been on a trip. Like, we were mm -hmm. on tips. You know, here tips, Monday. Tips and shit that nah, you write in. You I, know, these waitresses and things. I take the money, things, take the money that I'm going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I take yeah, my money. Wherever I go so. on a trip, I'm taking my money. So if I got $500 to spend on so the trip, like I ain't going to have to worry about nothing pending. Yes. When I go on trips, of course. Gotcha. But oh, okay. other than that, gotcha. I, and I don't check okay, my account. Like, like that, because I'm very frugal. I'm fiscally responsible, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm fiscally responsible with my money. I, 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 I didn't even let you come up here and budget my house for me. Yeah, okay. Come on, well, I, I will. I truly will. Come on, I don't yeah. let nobody penny pinch for me all who don't know what I'm good. If y'all don't know what fiscally is, that is money, okay? Fiscal money. I mean, I think they knew too. The only thing with, the I ain't only talking thing about. I ain't talking about is, us on the. I'm talking about oh, the okay. listeners. You know, oh. sometimes you know you may say some things that go over the listener head. I ain't saying y'all listeners dumb or nothing, but oh, y'all might be. That's dumb. why I think it's good to take cash <laughs> to take to take cash and have a car because a lot of places don't be taking um cash. A lot of places don't be taking cash no more. So that's that's where that comes into play for me. But if I was rich like Mary, I think I would try to sit down with an accountant at least once a month just to see where everything is going. Because I understand she may be busy. Oh my God, y'all know Mary can't read. Don't do that because she went back oh, and we got her GED. Allegedly, good enough yeah, diploma. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> 
really don't uh, like I'll, dr- I'll drink today. Hey, you know what? You know you. Hey, is this a uh, if you can, if you if you illiterate or you can't read? Does that make your music better? R. Kelly. Is that two examples? Yeah. Fantasia. I didn't even know she can't read. Um, so I don't think I'm that's true. Definitely. Fantasia. I think three, that three I don't Fantasia. think it makes your music better, but but I think that you you perfect your craft more because you know that okay, I might not be the best at reading these things or doing these things, but I'm the best at transcending this to my audience. I might not be able to fundamentally read, but I can I can if you sing it to me, I can sing it. And I could transcend okay, it to yeah. whoever it needs to be given to. That's what's up. I never thought about it like that. What do you guys think about if you guys are going somewhere? Ooh, and I know exactly what you're talking about. We're uh, <laughs> we're going. We're, we're wanting to split a hotel. We get two bed, uh, two beds, but those friends are, are are married. Are we splitting it three ways, or are we splitting it? Even like uh, uh, two we ways. We splitting it four ways. No, we splitting split it four ways. That's gotta be three ways. No, you're not splitting it so three if ways. It me, split it Harvey, Harvey. If it was me, it was me, T.Y. and Harvey. We're, and we're three people. That's three ways. Yes. But he was, and Rodney, he was four ways. Yeah. See, that's so. What, that's that's what four I ways. Think, but, yeah. You ain't yeah. getting no credit just because you a couple. Are think. you crazy? Damn. Are you crazy? If you want to fight me, just say that because I'm not playing with you. Give me my money for this. See, that's you know. So what? Harvey, what happened? I got the right group of friends. No, I mean it's just it's it's just as uh, I mean. I feel like at first they, they they were like that. You know, they were like, "Well, we should split it uh, two ways because you know it's two beds." I was like, "No, it it doesn't work." It like definitely that. doesn't like, work like that. It doesn't work. It like definitely that. does not yeah. work. They knew better. They tried but, you. Yeah. That's what they did. Yeah. They tried and you. They got it too. No, 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 but no. I, I I love them to death. I really do. They're they're my. What's love got to do with it? What's love got to do with it? We can love them. Yeah. See, no time to say that. What love got to do with it? We can love them, but at the end yeah. of the day, friend. Um, What's, Friend, pay your part. What's right is right. You shouldn't be paying an extra hundred dollars. Yes, that's taking do advantage. You don't take advantage do of your fair. friends. I, I agree. And you don't do that. Yeah, do what's fair. You always want to do what's fair, reasonable, and a uh, and accommodating to to everybody. Because again, like, how you gonna tell me if a if a room is three hundred dollars, two people get to split one hundred and fifty dollars, and I pay one hundred fifty dollars by myself. That it, it makes no mm. sense. They I take mean, it out of your pocket. You get a two for one deal. Two for one, pick it up, thing. Mm. I guess. Right. I just wanted some input. Well, you, you, and I got yes. it. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. All right, cool. We went over a little bit on tea time, but it's good because it was it was some good conversations. I liked it. So you guys know we always say you can test us. Um, you can hit us up on social media, things like that, and drop your input. Well, finally, after. What we're in the second season now, <laughs> midpoint almost. <laughs> Somebody finally texts us, okay, and has some questions. So, um, this segment of the podcast, we are going to be answering those questions. Um, guys, we are not Dr. Phil, we are not licensed. So, remember, this is in our opinion, okay? Our opinion, you don't have to take it and run with it, but this is just how. We feel in how we, um, as millennials and different uh, ages, um, different ethnicities, if I can get the word out, <laughs> um, and just, yeah, different uh, martial status. So, marital status. Damn, I can't get nothing out of that. <laughs> martial status. Right. <laughs> martial law. <Damn. laughs> martial. <laughs> I can't get nothing out. Yes. Literally, I cannot get nothing. <laughs> And I'm not even drinking that much today. I'm telling you, no, that's, that, that's the that's that cucumber water. That's that cucumber. That's the model, honey. That's the model, honey. <laughs> it's that cucumber, man. I can't. Okay. I can't. I can't. It's that pickle. Uh, that, right, the pickle. Okay, so this question, I'm going to go with you, Ty. Uh, this person, as anonymous caller or tester, says. Why is it so hard for a man to communicate and express their emotions with their partner? Does this goes back to how they were raised? Uh, yes, um, yes and no. Number one, we are not mind readers. We don't. I don't know what you're thinking. Um, number two, yes, we are horrible at communicating. We women have a lot of nonverbal cues, right? Uh, and we don't pick up on those. Um, we 
growing up, you kind of you, you you stay out of your mom's way as a little boy. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't really want to upset her. So you just kind of sit back. You don't really buck the system really with your mother. So you carry that into your relationships. You just kind of sit back. You don't pay attention to those emotional cues or social cues or nonverbal cues. Um, so you have to be very vocal with us and, and explain to us and tell us what it is you want, how you feeling, um, and, and what you expect of us. Um, that will help. Um, so yes, you women, you also need to be vocal as well. So keep those lines of communication open. Uh, it go both ways. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I, I, so you took a different take on it than I I, I would have taken. I, I got out of the question, which I like your, your, your take. Um, what was the question again? The question is, why is it so hard for a man to communicate and express their emotions with their partner? Does this goes back to how they were raised? So for me, I took it as, uh, not about trying to read into women or your partner, but I took it more of me. Like why I think the, the I thought the caller was asking, uh, why can't you express yourself? Uh, you know, not trying to read the cues of your partner, but why can't you? So why can't we do that as man? And is that a part of it? So I, I like your approach though. So I guess I'll answer from the approach that I thought it was going from. Um, honestly, I, I, it's definitely part of where, where, we were raised. Um, I think it's, it's a lot of stigma from that, you know, men bring the bacon home and men kind of like, we don't express ourselves. Um, I think it goes back to like, you know, we, everybody comes to the man in the the house with the problem. Right. Um, and he holds it down. So I think that's, I I think it's this bad stigma. I think it's something that was kind of definitely taught into us, but I do see a change now. I see a lot of men, who are going to speak with their pastors at the church. They're going to see therapists and different things like that. So they are starting to learn to communicate a little more. But I just feel like from back in the days, the 60s and the 70s, you don't really hear men complain too much. You know, they take in everything and they do it. So I think that's a part of why, um, in my opinion. That's that's accurate. We're supposed to be still traps. You put something in and it don't come out. Man, don't go to your pastors talking to your pastors. That's how you think the pastor get into your wife's drawers. You done went and told the pastor all your little dirty secrets and how your wife is upset and how she wants this and that. You can't do it. Now the pastor looking at you and her like, oh, I'm finna tear her ass up. Just soon as she stuck up in this bullshit. I ain't thinking like that, T.Y. Come on now. You know what's up. Can I put my input? Go ahead. What church he going to? Well, y'all know who PK, know. but he ain't mine. Ten of cost of the devil, because man, uh, how, how, how did you get? I, I think I think as as a, as you know as a as a Mexican, you know, a Hispanic the Hispanic men back in the day, I do believe it goes back to to the parent to the fathers. They think that they they've always had that macho mentality. Um, that like you know like uh, Ronnie said. They go to work, bring bring money to 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 to, to I guess to the table, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they always expect, you know, once to come um, home, they expect for them to, to have you know dinner uh, already served, you know, <laughs> ready for dinner, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, and they they don't express their feelings. Um, I mean, my father, even I mean, I love him to death now, but you know, back in the day, he would never. I don't ever remember when I was young him asking me how how my day was or how school was Mm -hmm. or whatever i feel like every time we would talk he would just talk to me because he needs me to do something um so i think that i guess for me now i mean i may have problems uh uh uh, expressing my feelings and stuff now that you know i'm older and blah blah blah, and then whenever i get my significant other um but i do think it, it, it 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 the stuff that we got from our our fathers and you know or um from yeah growing up yeah i get it yeah I, i'm gonna i'm can yeah. i take it from yeah. a female perspective can i take it you from can, a, a you female can be, perspective? you can be the female I, for this question <laughs> i'm just gonna say this i think that a lot of times we don't create feminine environments for men to share that means women are not feminine mm. enough um, to allow their men to share and create safe spaces. A lot of the times when, you know, your man has had a, had a hard day, of course you've been at home, you done cooked, you done clean, you done make sure the, ha- the house is what it needs to be. 
Um, but it might be something that day that you might just not be as happy with as a female. He done been out in the world. Everything that been over him the whole entire day. He come home. The first thing you do is attack, attack, attack. So that doesn't create a safe space for somebody who wants to share like, dang, like today has been a horrible day. Such such a day that I feel burdened with everything that I have going on in this world. And then he gets home and then he has to come home to that. So sometimes I think that as women um, start taking you know, our feelings out of certain situations and think about what the other counterpart is going through um, in the day to day. And also you do have to realize uh, who, who you are yoked with. Realize that, you know, um, they just may not be an expressive person, but the more softer you are as a woman, the more feminine energy that you output, um, it returns to you in a certain way that opens up your apartment to be more vulnerable with you. Um, so create those safe spaces to where, you know, that person can share with you. And I'm pretty sure um, that it will make them easier to share with to share with you, in my opinion. Women just give some more of that feminine energy to your man. Don't be walking around the house with underwear with dick holes in them and we'd be all right. Like the ones that I sent mm-hmm. that Javi had like on Facebook. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, so let me ask this. Um don't fucking do it. <laughs> I'm not even on Facebook like that. What the fuck? You know Facebook be lying, friend. I'm telling you. Cause it got it got all kind of people that liked it that I know, and I know they wouldn't have liked it. Mm. Like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, let me see who do I want to ask. Tay. Um it sets a deal breaker. Can you teach someone to satisfy you? Um, Hold on. This is a I, question from a listener? Yeah. We got some, we got <laughs> some, some nasty, ass nasty, nasty ass listeners. But go ahead. I like that. <laughs> we, like, we didn't even talk about this. We didn't so have, have did. we talked about yeah. sex. Who was trying to off the top of the dome, though? Um, yeah, yeah. So, guys, when I give the, them these questions, I don't tell them. So, I because I want you to get their true reaction. So, that's why they're um and like, <laughs> uh... Yeah, they don't know. They just know that we have callers with questions, and that's all I tell them. Because I want you guys to hear them. You know, you know, I got y'all. Mm. I got you. Okay, so Tay, it sets a deal breaker. Can you teach someone to satisfy you? In your opinion? I, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion. Allegedly. Can I just... Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> back in my day. like I, Back in my day, it used to be a deal breaker. Oh. Uh, Allegedly. Yeah, back in my day, it did, because... well. Allegedly, <laughs> I give you, I, I give you a try, and if it was horrible, if it was, I was impatient back then. I'm still impatient, but you know, um, I, I'll give you a chance. If it was horrible, I might even give you a second chance. If it was, if it's horrible the second time, then that's it's a wrap. You ain't getting no third chance. Now, if I like you, like like you, like you, if I'm into you, I can try to see if. I can teach you some and give you a third chance, but if you... Mm. Under what context is this? Is this the context of a sneaky link or a, rela- or a relationship? You answer how you want to answer. I'm leaving it open. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a deal breaker, but if you got chemistry with I, a person and then you, you know, if y'all had that type of relationship where you can talk about it and you can coach them a little bit and they get it right, then yeah, but I used it used to be a deal breaker for me, but but I think I think if the person can get it right, or they can try to get it right, no, they got to get it right. Yeah, they got. Okay, I'm gonna say that sex is not a deal breaker, and the only reason why I say sex is not a deal breaker because I'm a very intimate person. So when I think of sex, I think about all the things, the emotional well being. Can this person provide me? Can we mentally? physically connect so i don't only think about the sex aspect because intimacy will heighten anything i mean you think that you had some sex Mm -hmm. and it was just basic sex baby if this person caressing you and kissing you and you know going through the motions with you then it just it takes it to another level and i do think that what people have to get away from people are not going to authentically know how to love and respect your body okay you have to teach them how to love and respect you. But it's just not like, oh, do you wake up and you know, I, I know that, you know, I'm going live for the five and, I, and I'm the freak of the week. I'm, you don't you don't know that until you partner with somebody. <laughs> no, I'm not live for the five and the freak of the week. 
I'm just saying, like, if you partner with somebody, because I had I had a partner that has taught me a lot of stuff. I dealt with him for a long time, and he taught me a lot of stuff that I could use. But if he would have been like, dang, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I ain't finna deal with, you know, I ain't finna deal with this. She ain't, she's not sexually aware enough for me. Then I wouldn't know all the things that I do know mm-hmm. now sexually. I'm, I ain't finna say all that, but I'm just saying. I wouldn't know exactly. Mm. Um, Please don't. Um, what I, know. Right, right, right. I wouldn't know exactly okay, what I know this, now, um, and I'm glad that I had somebody to coach me. So I, I, I okay. would say it was a broad question, though. It's, yeah, I, we licking, I we agree, licking belly buttons and armpits around here. Ew, Ty, you disgusting. This, this question, what? this question was a broad question. It should have been. Yes. It should have. It should have been whether you're with somebody that you're intimate with that you well, really that, like that or whatever, is, or whether that, it's it's just your sneaky link. It's just that, broad. that part is there, but I wanted to hear your opinions on both ways. So that's where I'm asking, uh, Cookie, when you say he taught you things, were y'all in a relationship? Was that a special certain one for you? No, we were not in a relationship. Oh, so we were sneaky link. So you were just like friends with benefits. Yeah, and then like it's just like I mean like he was so intimate that it could have been a relationship. You never had somebody that just you just be like have an out of body experience with. That's what he was for me. I've never I don't care like you know like she was somebody like yeah, I had one of those yeah. with Halle Berry and um. And I think that for me, I was way more open to it because I wasn't in a relationship. You know, I know it sounds crazy, but I was just way more open to doing some of the things that he taught me because it was just it was like an adventurous thing. But he is who taught me that intimacy mm. matters more than anything. Intimacy comes first. Everything else sexually will happen. It will get where you need to be if you are intimate enough Question. with the person. Was he older or was he... He had to be older because no, you know, young boy ain't really doing nothing like that. So he had to be uh, this older. Is, this is than before, you. Than you. Um, he was older than me, but not much older than me. We 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 both were in our late twenties. So okay. yeah. I just think so he just had a me, little bit more patience because um, patience is key. Patience is when you're doing mm-hmm. that. Ooh, yeah, it is. Um. <laughs> so for me, um, if it's a special someone, then a special person, as this this caller mentioned, um, part of, yeah, I don't think sex is an issue. I feel like you could teach someone because it is a part of intimacy. It's a part of the connection. And I feel like you can teach someone what you like, the ins and outs, the, the curves and things, things like that, that you want to do. Um, you know, I feel like that's a part of growing with each other. Uh, I feel like, yeah, that's that's a part of it. Um, if it's just a hookup, if it's a one night stand, if it's somebody else on the street, well, okay, let me not say street because that sounds really hoish. I mean, that sounds like forty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, if it's just somebody I met at the bar and I decided to take them home, man, it's one time probably. Okay, if it's bad that time, that's it. That that's it. That and that's what I was saying. If it's bad that then time, that's it. it. If, 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 if it's something like y'all been talking for a minute and then, you know, that's different. You probably can teach them. If, like, you should be teaching each other. Yes, really. that keeps your relationship you spicy. Teaching each other. You know, that, those are things yeah. that, you know, you don't ever want to continue to do missionary for the rest of your life. I mean, God, if you are viewers, then please <laughs> test us and we can give you some things to do. OK, take out a whole book where she draw her stick figures. OK, if y'all didn't know, I know. <laughs> You know what? You need to stop. <laughs> okay. So I do not have a she home do. Group. We add to it. It's like a group collective. We add to it. Everybody draw their stick. <laughs> Y'all look crazy. <laughs> okay. You're going to have people looking at me sideways. I'm yeah, like, what's she doing on this? The, <laughs> the book will be published. Uh, oh, it's going to be published. It's going to be published. <laughs> Y'all... Y'all go ahead and get folded up today. <laughs> right, okay. Because if you're still doing missionary in 2022... No, I, it was a Facebook. I, 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 it was a. I, 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 it was a, I still like missionary. It was a Facebook it's, post the other day. Not for normalcy. A, not every time, friend. Well, not every time, but I'm That's just saying Valentine's you can start on all kind of ways. You do missionary on Valentine's Day. No, you can start on missionary. You can kiss. You can do missionary. Then you flip over. You, uh, you, the book. you know, you know what we know. Yes, that's the everything. Book. Talking about. Sorry. Wait. 
I'm Cut just it. saying Wait. different stuff. You could, you know what? Cut My younger brother and sister watch. Listen Thank you. Us, so Cut okay, it. cool. Flip over. Flip over. And no, no scissoring. <laughs> <laughs> no scissoring. I can't. You know what? Who scissoring? You don't know what scissoring is. Well, mm. I said, who's Oh, right. I said, I don't think we, we don't I, have any of that on, on this episode. We don't have to explain. I mean, on this, <laughs> this whole case. I don't think. I don't know. You know, and on this, you know, no, no, Cookie, we're not going to end on that note. We're going to, no, 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 Cookie, no, we're going to go to culture tags and <laughs> trivia. Like, culture tag and trivia. Guys, get your drinks ready because I'm ready to move. Yes, we're moving. Oh, my God. Cookie crazy. That's hell. Okay. It says Cookie so damn crazy. We're doing trivia and culture tags today, guys. So, oh my God. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, what does start with Cookie for us first? Ugh. Cookie, good guy. Uh, what is the capital of New York? <laughs> capital of New York, New York? Rochester. I don't know. New- <laughs> it's New definitely York. not New Rochester. York. It's New York. Uh, is it Albany? Is it Albany? Albany. Uh, Albany. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have nothing to drink today, so I'm not drinking anything. Albany. You don't have anything? Thanks, T.Y. Oh, she, she did that. Yeah, I do, but I'm not bouncing. You know, she's so where's it go from? Yeah, y'all know mm. I'd be leaving. She must like got a hot date after this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she do. <laughs> I look like a stick. Okay, Tay, hey, this is for you. I'm giving to you because you watched Yellowstone with me. Uh, what is the capital of Montana? Uh, they mentioned it so many times in the show. I know the capital of Montana. I know they. I know they mentioned it. It's where the governor was, right? Uh, I think that's where Beth moved her office to when she got beat up and threw across the room. I, I can't think Helena, Helena. I mean, y'all gonna have to do better. Y'all back. need to do some history. Ooh. She don't really let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I finished the I whole can. episode. I mean, the whole season. Okay, go ahead, Cook. Okay, so since y'all talking about the uh, Super Bowl and it had such an amazing like hip hop lineup, um, where did hip hop originate from? Is this a state? What city? In state. It's a city and state. No, just do the state. Just do the state. Do the state. I'm going to say California. You need your ass beat. And it, New York. It's New York. Um, <laughs> now. No. It's New York. It's not New York. Oh, okay. It is Harlem, New York, right? State. You're right. Harlem? Yeah. No, Harlem. yeah. It's New York. Oh, okay. Yep. Woo, sorry. Tay, you was right. I missed it. <laughs> okay, uh, Cookie. Uh, cap- capital of uh, California. Oh, shit. Los Angeles? We were just talking about yeah, that. Yeah, we just did this not too long ago. No. Oh, wait, wait. Is uh, it Sacramento? San Diego. No. Sacramento. Sacramento. Pasadena? Sacra- <laughs> Sacramento? Like, who want to go there? Don't nobody even want to go there. The hell? Right. Mm. That's why I said not, not, not Pasadena. All our sack, all our sack town listeners and watchers, uh, she was just joking. Mm. We like sack town. Well, no, we don't. Ty, no, we're trying to go to San Francisco. Ty, capital of South Carolina. Charleston. No. Uh, 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 damn it, Cookie. Yes. Columbia? She cheated. Oh, Columbia. Like I said, ugh, Columbia is <laughs> No, y'all need Columbia. to quit that's doing it to these folks' cities. I'm just saying because I be going to these places and I'm like, that's the capital. Right. <laughs> that's the capital. Okay. All okay, right. this is our moving on to culture tags. Javi, we'll start with the first one for you. Um, C N. See, and yeah, Cartoon Network. That's what I was gonna say. This is Javi's question. Okay, I'm sorry. Is that is that it? Cartoon Network? No. Don't take my answer, Javi. See, yeah. y'all gonna need a little sticky note for the rest. So get ready. Oh. I don't know. Come on now, really? 
Yeah, I, I have no I'm idea. I'm just typing. Okay, C N. Think about it. In, in relation to what? In relation, if I tell you what it's in relation to, you're gonna know what it is. Okay, what's the next word on the C? N. The next word? No, the oh. next letter. Letter is N. I mean, okay, letter, let me tell you. Uh, C and N. That's it. Cat now. Not cat now. <laughs> that's a good one. Though. I mean, that's okay. Um, cool. Some people wait. That was that was the word C N N. Child, no. Damn. Uh, some people okay. Carno. I don't Carno. Oh, some people get them, some people don't. Crabs. Yeah, is, it a, is it an STD? Can, can we just go next question? <laughs> Y'all gonna get this. Mm-mm. Some people get them. Condom. So it's funny, but on Monday, uh, on March first, I no longer have to wear my mask in the gym at um, Orange Theory. COVID nineteen. Friend, that is not a culture <laughs> thing. You right. should have left that one off. Hey, I didn't make you know, it. Get out of here. I didn't make it. You need your, you need your ass beat. 19, not, 19 is not even Let started me with it. It's, it's, it's the exciting. number 19. Mm, well, that ain't what the, the, the game said. The game said. Okay. I'm going about the game. Respect. So, uh, T.Y., since you got so much to say, mm-hmm. Y-E-S-Y-A-I-O-O. Y-E-S-Y-A-I-O-O. Uh-huh. This is going to be your mother would say this to you or your babysitter would say this to you. Y-E-S-Y-A-I-O-O. You ever... You got the you right. You either. Why? You eat. You eat. What'd you say, Cookie? Is it you either sit? You, you either eat. sit. So you either sit your ass. You either sit your ass in. Oh. It's either you either take your ass inside or out. Something like that. In or out of the house. Okay, uh, you close, but you're going to have to get the saying right if you want it. You either stay your ass in or out. Good job, friend. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Cookie. Wait. Thank you, Cookie, for the lob. Wait, where was the E come in? You either. either. Oh, okay, you either stay your ass in, in or, or out. out. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. That was, that was a little slow one of me. <laughs> Tay, D-P-A-Y-E. D-P. D-P-A-Y-E-I-O-B. <laughs> D P A Y E I O B I O B B. Don't play. You got the don't right. Bruh. D P. Don't put. Okay. Don't mm-hmm. put. All your eggs in one basket. Oh. You go. Oh my God. Damn. That's why she my friend. That's why she my friend. Damn. Cookie, I ain't even thinking that. Good. You good, girl. I'm sitting over here like. You good at coach I'm telling you. You said DP. I'm like, DP double penetration? Oh, hell, T.Y. Oh, my God. This is why these niggas are sending us these questions now. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, this is a hobby. <laughs> this one is for uh cookie. Y B B H B T S L C O. Y B B H B T S L C O. That's for cookie. Hmm. You better be here before the Street lights come on. <gasps> Damn. Yep, yep. She is I, was say, on I know that one. She is street lights. Why are you so good at this? Dang. I think she be cheating, man. <laughs> she was not even on the hood. Where's our hood? My grandma said every. <laughs> I, know, I knew that one about the street <laughs> lights. Last one, Javi. Um, B I T T W. I prefer Cookie not to help him because it's so easy. Okay. I, I'm going. B I T T W. Um, 
Like, what does it refer to? Um, family, friends, friends and family. P I T T W. Friends can be your family. Friends can be your chosen family. Think of it in that way. Blood. <gasps> I know it. Yeah. You're on the right track. You're on the right track. Y'all help him out. Come on. I mean, don't help him, but come on. No, he are, he didn't already started it, so he should be good. Blood is, is thicker. Huh? We so proud of you. Oh, that titty water. <laughs> blood, blood, come on, come blood on. is thicker than water. All right. Yeah. Why would you be so happy when Javi get one? <laughs> Because, because these are my culture tags. These right. are my t- culture tags. <laughs> we gotta get some culture tags for Javi. Yo, I'm gonna listeners, see if they got friends, a listeners. Version. Let me see. <laughs> listeners out there, followers, y- y'all send in some questions, some culture tags for Javi. Oh, uh, we'll find them ourselves. But if y'all got questions about the Latino race or how they, you know, what I'm saying how they operate, y'all should ask. Like, don't be afraid to ask. I mean, they just like us. I think they better than us, but they just like us. Uh, you know, they practice. They practice economics way better than we do. That's a whole nother topic. Uh, a whole nother. But yeah, they're fiscally <laughs> yeah. responsible, guys. Fiscally responsible. And once, <laughs> once again, fiscally is money for you, dum dums out there. <laughs> y'all don't get offended that he called y'all dumb dumbs because he called us all kind of names on this thing too. Look, so don't, you only don't a, you are only offended if so you are dumb dumb. Hey. This is true. This is yes. true. Okay, so this is our probably our last. Wait, it's not our last episode, but this is our probably our um, last Black History quote for this month, right? Is this because uh, no. next week, or do we have next week? Is that the 28th on yeah. Sunday? Yeah, next week, uh, 27th. Okay, so we, got we, have, we have Sunday. Okay, okay. Well, this One week more. I chose two people. Um, the first person I chose is Rihanna. Me. Okay. Riri. Bad girl Riri. All right. I see make the list before me. I was going to name my hair Riri, yeah, but see why I said the, uh, it was she, a Riri. She, she, <laughs> okay. How did Riri make the list before me? Again, uh, Rihanna. Artist, humanitarian, <laughs> entrepreneur, designer, I'm a world's wealthiest female musician. I think that has a lot to um, stand up for already, but I love her quote. And she says something. Um, the minute you learn to love yourself, you won't want to be anyone else. Ooh, the minute yeah. you learn to love yourself, you won't want to be anyone else. I like that one. Um, yeah, that is good. A lot of people struggle with self-love and things that are going on in this world right now makes it very hard to kind of, you know, love yourself even more than you should. But um, I think, yeah, it's, it's really good. That's a really good one. And the next one I chose is Muhammad Ali. Um, and I'm actually going to say two quotes from him, but he's a boxer, a poet, an activist, and the greatest. All right. So um, two quotes that I really enjoyed reading. Um, you don't lose if you get knocked down. You lose if you stay down. Simple, mm-hmm. simple as it is. All right. Mm-hmm. We have failures. We get knocked down. We get back up, and we gonna try again. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, the next one is Yay. if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Mm-hmm. I really, I, I like those. I like. Those I really, really, really enjoyed that those one because you know awesome. we think about some things in life. Um, then like, oh, should I do this? Should I do this? Like, ooh, that's so scary. You should do it. If it's scary you, that yeah. means you should do it. That means you're getting out of your comfort zone. You're getting out of your shell. So listeners, if out of all of these, if you if, if, to take one home, I like that one. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. That is true. I like that, man. But since I since since Rodney leaving me out of the quote, so I'm gonna throw y'all an extra one. All right. This is a black history quote from uh one of my good friends, Benny the Butcher. And he says, what's more important, the rose or the soil that grows it? The soil that grows it. Is that a question? That's a quote. Oh, okay. It's a quote. <laughs> okay. Meaning? Meaning, it's, it's all about your perspective, right? Do you look at the rose like, oh, man, damn, that's a beautiful rose? Or do you give more credit to the soil that actually grew it? Okay, so how do you apply right. that to life? It's about what you put in. You can only get out what you put in. Hmm. If your nutrients in your soil is shitty, guess what? 
You're going to have mm-hmm. an ugly ass, stinking ass rose. The bees. It might not the, even grow. The bees don't even want to pollinate, yeah. pollinate your shit. You know what I'm saying? So you make sure you, you your nutrients or your foundation is good to go. Mm-hmm. And that will produce That's true. Uh, uh, um, a, a better fruit. I like that. You know. I like that. That's that's really good. Yeah, I just gotta continue to strive. Yes, yes. Yes. As this world continues to throw us lemons, we're gonna make the damn lemonade, okay? No, right now. All right, that's it. All right. Um that was fun. That was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Um Cookie, Cook Got it. Take us out. It's your girl, Cook Got it. No, I'm playing. But for real, y'all, remember to follow <laughs> us on IG and Twitter at Boozy B and T. And you can always watch us on YouTube at our channel, Boozy Brunch and Tea. Especially so y'all can see this uh, face right here, Cook Got it. Y'all, y'all ready? Stay tuned, y'all. <laughs> All right, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to text us at 202-978-6628. All right, now. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening. Keep well, stay safe. See you next week. Honky horn. Flush your toilets. (laughs) Adios. Adios.